Hello students, today we are going to study about isomers. These are compounds which have the same molecular formula but they have different structure. The property is known as isomerism or isomerization. So uh, we were going to study the basic level and then we will study more uh, complex level later on. So let us try to understand it with some example. First let us define what isomers are. So let us go into my iPad and understand it. I S O M E R S. So isomers. Isomers are actually molecules which have the same formula but different structure. So let us write it down. Isomers are molecules M O L E C U L E S molecules which which have the same chemical formula or molecular formula same chemical or we can write down molecular M O L E C U L E molecular or molecular L A R molecular formula F F O R M U L A but different but different structures S T R U C T U R E. So, what are isomers? Isomers are molecules which have the same chemical or molecular formula but they have different structure. So, let us understand it with the help of an example. Let us take the saturated hydrocarbon uh, that is the first one that is let us take butene because isomers will occur with uh, carbons which are 4 or more than 4 in number in the molecular structure. So, let us take an example of uh, butane. Butane is C4 H10. So, let us draw the structure of butane 1, 2, 3, 4 and then let us take the hydrogen Yeah. So, this is a straight chain and we can just call it as butane. So, this is the first uh, isomer of butane. Let us do the second one. So, again here the formula will be C4 H10. So, let us draw it. Now, 3 will be in a straight row and 1 will be in the branch. So, this is the methyl group attached over there and then each carbon has 4 places. So, you have to be very careful not to skip any hydrogen. So, if you see over here there are 3, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 hydrogen and 4 carbon. Now, naming this let us name this. Now, this let us put red uh, 1, 2, 3 this is the number of carbon. Let us name it now. Since carbon is methyl group is attached to the second carbon. So, we write it as 2 put a dash methyl M E T H Y L and there are 3 carbon methane, ethane, propane. So, 2 methyl propane. So, we can also write down capital M E T H Y L according to the rule we can write capital but this is fine also. So, these are the two isomer of butane. One is butane and one is 2 methyl propane. They have the same formula C4H10, but they have different structure. Now, let us do another example. This example is C5H12. So, let us draw a condensed structure. So, it will be faster. So, let us take the first one, number 1. Let us see how many isomers we can draw CH3, CH4, 
2 ch 2 ch 2 so 1 2 3 4 and another one ch 3 let's name it as pentane t a n a this is number 1 let's do number 2 ch 3 ch and then here we can take here ch 3 oh, here what we can do is this will become ch now because we can't have more than we uh, so one will go there then ch 2 and ch 3 so 1 2 3 4 5 and how can we name it let's first put the number 1 2 3 4 so we'll see that this methyl group is attached to the second carbon so it will be let's name it as 2 uh, let's remove the comma we can 2 methyl m e t h y l because the methyl group attached to the second carbon methane ethane propane butane so 2 methyl butane and let's draw another one number 3 c h 3 and c over here and then c h 3 on the top c h 3 here and c h 3 here so you can see that both the side we have a methyl group and naming numbering it 1 2 3 and let's name it 2 because attached to the second carbon again 2 because another methyl group is attached to the second carbon and then 2 2 di di means 2 methyl dimethyl m e t h y l and in the street chain methane ethane propane so 2 2 dimethyl propane p a n e so this these are three isomers of c5 h12 again we'll see the formula is the same but we have three different structure now let's do one example of a double bond so let's take uh, unsaturated hydrocarbon again here uh, we can take a double bond for example we can take c4 h8 but before we go to the double bond what we'll see is when we have a straight chain and when we have a branch chain in case of branch chain usually the properties of these particular isomers are quite similar the difference shows itself mainly in their melting and boiling point in the branch the melting point and the boiling point becomes lower than in the straight chain but more or less the properties are the same but the boiling point and melting point becomes lower in the branch chain than in the straight chain so let's do the third example let's take uh, unsaturated hydrocarbon that is uh, butene so c4 h8 now this time so let's take an example let's do a branch let's do a uh, not let's not do a condensed structure let's scatter it so it becomes more easy so uh, let's take c how many they are four so double bond will be in the first carbon this time one two three and four now let's attach the hydrogen so here already two bond is there so two hydrogen four and this hydrogen has three so one more four and this one is one two three and four hydrogen four bonds and one two three. so when you count the number of bonds it will never go wrong so let's name this uh, but why but because they are four and then one because it's attached to the double bond is in between the first and the second one so if we count the number counting one two three four so we will see double bond is between one and second carbon so but one in in why because suffix is because of alkene e n e let's draw the next one see uh, let's put double bond uh, let's uh, put double bond in the center this time so let's put the hydrogen so one two three four over there here also one two three then one four over here 
and then we have so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So altogether 8 hydrogen and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 carbon. Let us number it 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let us uh, name it. So again here it would be but, but, but. Now the number will be 2. Why? Because the double bond is in between 2 and third, 2 and 3 carbon. So uh, we will see 1, uh, 2 over here and 3 over here. So, we can uh, name it as but 2 in. So, this is how we uh, draw the second isomer of C4H10. So, these are some examples that uh, we should know and it is simple, but yeah, we have to practice it. Uh, we will see that the structures are different again and the, uh, the carbon atoms are uh, numbered, the number added to the formula, formula indicates the position of the double bond. So, in the first one, in but 1 in, the double bond is between the carbon atoms uh, 1 and 2, whereas in but 2, 2 in, we will see that the carbon atom is between 2 and 3. So, that is the difference over there. Again, what are isomers? Isomers are those molecules or compounds which have the same chemical molecular formula or chemical formula, but they have the different structure. I hope students this is clear to you. Students, if you like uh, my videos, uh, please subscribe and share. Thank you for watching my videos patiently.